Welcome back everybody, Harry P. from the Driftless Homesteads. Good to see you show up today. Today, we got all of this ash to split. It probably won't happen today, but it's gonna happen. Um, we drug this out of the woods in March. We probably should have split it right away, but this year has just been a crazy year for me and Friar Buck here behind the camera. And um, we're playing catch up, to be honest with you. So um, we're out here splitting wood today. Got to work on this wood pile. I'd like to get it all finished this weekend, maybe another extra day or two.
Time out, everybody. Before we go any further, I need you guys to give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and then think of at least one friend or two that you can send this video to to share it with them. Okay, shut up. Okay, well, if you follow the channel, you see that today we are using the larger Speedco I went and got from my house um, versus that little tiny MTD which was hurting my back last week. This also is uh, much faster. And this one here says it's 25 ton. I don't remember the MTDs over there. We could go look at the tonnage, but I wanted to make a, a point about the tonnage. You know, this one here says, the speed coast says it's 25 ton, and it probably has a 13 second cycle time. The Easton made 1222 I ordered, which would be 12 horse 22 ton. So it's less tonnage than this, has a five and a half second cycle time, I believe it is. You know, so when you guys are out there shopping for wood splitters, tonnage doesn't mean everything. 
It certainly does mean a little when you got this giant wide wedge, but if I was you, I'd really consider getting a commercial type uh, wood splitter because this one here is two years old. Um, the wedge popped off of it, the metal is bending on it, and what you get on the commercial stuff is you get replaceable parts, you get a log lift, you get much faster cycle time, and you get a much more robust machine, meaning it's going to be stronger, so it will take the abuse. And you're, I, I'm not trying to abuse the machine, that's just the nature of the beast. When I'm flopping 300 pound uh, rounds up here, or you know, the constant back and forth, the uh, 25 tons of hydraulic pressure that are pushing against everything. So it just happens. And remember, I hate to spend money twice. So I'm going to spend money twice. In this case, I spent $1,000 on this uh, two years ago. And then I have a uh, East of May 1222 coming. And that one was in the neighborhood of $11,000 to my door. Um, I think it's well worth it because that's something that my grandchildren are going to run because that's how heavy duty it's made. So I would have saved myself a thousand dollars by diving right in there. But you know, even the commercial log splitters there, um, there's been an evolution in these machines going on. Uh, certainly there's, there's machines that have been made longer than Easton made. But I think Easton Made has really done some engineering to the log splitters, his log splitters, and he's kind of changed the business. And then you've had um, other people start up and kind of follow along in Andrew Easton's uh, footsteps to make a, a more robust machine for you.